hi today I'm going to teach you about how to install Windows Server 2012 R2 so I'm going to install the server in the VMware workstation so first of all I'm going to create a virtual machine so I'm going to file and select a new virtual machine I'm going to select typical next I'm going to go to the location of the server ISO file so I'm just going to select the ISO file and select open and I'm just going to select next and this is a Windows server so I'm going to select Microsoft Windows and version lessons I will select Windows server 2012 <coughs> I'm going to select next here it is a R2 version, so I just put it as R2 and next. So the problem is already exist. So I have already tried to install, so I will just keep it as R2. So it's like next. Here I will give T in GB of hot space for the Windows Server uh, R2. So I will select next. So I am going just going to customize the hardware. Memory I have given it as two zero four eight. Processor and the ISO file, the image file was given. I don't need the copy I have deleted. So I have selected everything and I am just going to finish the creation of the virtual machine and just let it finish. So now I just need to power on the virtual machine. I will just power it on. I will go to the full screen mode. And the files are getting loaded. So let's start the setup. So I've just kept the language as it is since I need the la same language, and I just kept the time and the currency format to the United States and the keyboard to the US layout. So, so whatever you need, you can select it here. You can change it here. I'm just going to select next, and I'm going to select the install now. And here you can see option called Require your computer. If you select this option, it will show you. Uh, options for repairing your computer like fixing the boot record etc etc so since we are seeing the installation of the server to the install we can start the installation right now So at this part, if you have a original Windows Server uh, 2012 Auto version, it will ask for your product key for the installation. But I am just using the evaluation version, so it will won't ask for the product key since it is a trial version. So if you have a product key, you can just enter the product key. It will be asked before this part of this window. So I am just going to install the evaluation version. So right now I will install server with GUI and the data center edition and select next so I need to accept the license select next and since I don't have any other operating system previously installed I just need to customize the hard disk so so this is where I am just going to install the operating system so I am just going to select this hard drive and just select next to start the installation 
so let's say let's start it So in this part you are seeing the installation of the Windows Server 2012 R2 edition. Uh, I, have I am installing the data center edition. And Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2 comes only with the 64-bit edition. And there is no 32-bit edition of Windows Server 2012 R2. So if you are going to install and check in your operating system, you need to have the 64-bit version of operating system for example if you have installed the virtual box or vm player or virtual pc software in your system you need to have a valid 64-bit operating system for installing and testing the windows server 2012 r2 in your system through the vmware workstation vmware player virtual box or through the virtual pc I think we cannot uh, install this Windows Server 2012 R2 in virtual PC. So you can better go for other options like VirtualBox or uh, VMware Player or VMware Workstation. So since I have given a uh, 2 GB of uh, RAM. It is going in a fast rate, so we need to wait for some time to the installation to get finished. So after this installation, my future video, I will show you about how to configure the Windows Server 2012 R2 and how to install the Active Directory, how to configure the Federation services, how to configure the right management services and how to configure DNS, DHCP, etc, etc so I just subscribe my video so that you can get more updates from me and you can also visit www.techken.in for more future updates and also for software downloads and technology news So it will be a bit crazy to hear those things but since I am a new to the blogger I am just creating all those things freshly so I need some more audience to make me do more things in the future so that I can share my knowledge to everybody. So at this place I am also I would like to show one more thing So this is the thing Sorry about this, I have just pressed it many times. So, how to do this? Just press Shift plus F10 to open the command prompt. So, at the time of installation, you can open the command prompt with the help of the Shift plus F10 key. So this is recommended only for the future only for those who have 
sound well knowledge in the windows server so no other person should open these things since if you run some of the commands or some of the wrong commands in this place surely you will get into some problem before installing so there are more things i will discuss about this later in the future so the installation was finished and we just need to install the updates and uh, one pending restart is there so i'm going to restart it now So you can see here the installation of Windows Server 2012 R2 is similar to that of installation of Windows Server 2012 and also the Windows Server 2008 R2 and also Windows Server 2008. So there is no much difference between these installations. So if you have already installed the Windows 8 operating system, so for you it will be easy for installing the Windows Server 2000. Well, R2 also so because both those installations are nearly same only the packages gets deferred here so if you see in my previous video about installing the Windows Server sorry Windows 8 operating system so you can see the same steps and the screen which you are seeing right now here for installing the Windows Server Almost the installation was finished and the server is asking for the username and password. So this is the default administrator account which cannot change right now. So just give the username is the administrator and the password which I am giving. I given the password. I'm just going to select finish.
so the installation was done and you can see the lock screen of Windows Server 2012 R2 I am just going to insert the control and delete so it is done I am just going to log in into the server and the profile is getting configured since it is a personal login and you need to be patient till it happens and now here you can see the windows server 2000 to and the installation was finished so we can see this later the manager was opening So this is a new dashboard for Windows Server 2012 server. So we can change these things later. And we'll just confirm whether yeah here you can see Windows Server 2012 to Data Center Evaluation Edition. So it is in tool and it was installed on a 64 bit of 32 gigabits of RAM and this is not activated. So and this is a new start menu if you are having for Windows Server 2000. So till now you have seen the Windows Server 2012 or 2 installation and later we can see what are the features and the installation and configuration of many services and roles in this server? So, thank you for watching the video.